when you go to preach, you tell people, your sins are already forgiven. That's the gospel. Then the person says, I believe. Then what happened? It is effected. When you say your sins are forgiven, has not yet happened to him. You are making a proposal. So the preaching of the gospel is making God's proposal known to men. That God has already gone ahead to reconcile you to himself. And if you accept it now, you experience it. That's why it's called the ministry of reconciliation. That God is not holding man accountable for sin. That God has already forgiven man in Christ. And all man is required to do is to accept what God has done. Am I teaching here? I said, am I teaching here? One of my videos went viral and I think it's still trending. Where I said, sin cannot take a man to hell. I like such things. I like such things. Because they make people talk. And when people start talking about something, it is easy for the Holy Ghost to bring them to the truth. Sin don't, can't take a man to hell. Jesus died for sin. If Jesus died for sin and sin takes a man to hell, then the death is useless. Are you following? The death is useless. What was the death for? For sin. Did he die? He fainted. He died. He really died. He was buried. And when he rose, did he rise with sin? What happened to sin? He put an end to it. And he rose triumphant and made man an offer of righteousness. So what takes a man to hell? The rejection of what Jesus has done. He that believeth not is condemned that whosoever believe shall not perish. Not whoever confesses sin. Whoever, it is not confessing sin that saves. It is faith in Christ. I'm teaching good here. Behold the Lamb of God that take it away. Did he take it away? The sins of the church or the sins of the world. He took care of sin by the sacrifice of himself. Jacota <laughs> Mahata. Romans chapter 4 verse 25. P -p Put it up for me. Let's have some church here a little. Romans chapter 4 verse 25. Who was delivered for what? And was raised again for what? In his death, he put an end to offenses. 2 Corinthians 5, 18. And all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Next verse. To wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. Unto himself. Reconciling the world unto himself. Re you are not seeing. You are not seeing. Reconciling the world. Not the church. The world. Unto himself. Put it up. Not imputing. Put that scripture. Not imputing their not imputing to the sinner that is God is not holding the sinner accountable for sin that's why sin can't take a man to hell because even the sinner God is not holding him accountable for sin why? he held Jesus accountable the word impute is the word logizomai. It's an accounting term. 
No double entry. No double entry. Jesus did the single entry that was required. And in that single entry, the entire world taken care of. So men have been released from the hook of sin. But it can only be effected by faith in Christ. Is it clear? So when you see them talking, you can help them. Some of them that talk about those things, religion has finished them. So they can't see. You see? They can't see. You see? <laughs> Glory to God. 